Hi, right, Sandra. I'm just at uh, 30 Tagish. Another great neighborhood here in the valley. Give you a street view. So you're on a little bit of a hill right here. The, the driveway is fairly level. The lot slopes off this way down here as well. That's the second driveway going into the apartment. We'll take a tour around and uh, have a look. You can see the one pin right there. That's a survey pin sticking pretty high out of the ground there. Driveway's got a couple little cracks in it, but it's it's in real good shape. I'm going to say, I don't know what the age of this house is, but I'm going to say maybe at most 20. So the siding and windows should be all good. Roof looks decent on it from here. It'll be interesting to know the age of that. I'll just check a disclosure for that. A nice little shed here. It is just that the shed great for the four wheelers, no mowers. So not really a big backyard here. I mean it's got a bit of bit of room here, but lots of trees, which is also nice. I'm gonna guess that the roof on the house was replaced. Looking at this one here, this is a shed in rough shape. So the, the roof on the house was probably uh, replaced at some point. Nice private backyard. So the siding and windows, they all look good. The deck is fine. It's starting to show its age. Oh yeah, there's a couple bad boards right here. Yeah, a few bad boards. They're still pretty sturdy. This is your view from up here, though. But yeah, this would be original deck. I got a bad board right there. I don't know if you'd have to replace it or... Underneath looks good, like all the joists, they all look good. Maybe just some boards. So your water would be all flowing this way, so I don't think you have to worry about any flooding in the house. There's another shed there. They probably have one for the tenant. A nice side yard. Nice little area here for the tenant. We'll go upstairs first. The grass here is going to need a little bit of tender loving care. So some, some fresh um, seed and topsoil, maybe. Again, this deck would be original. Looks like it's in better shape than the back one. Look at the exterior. Everything looks pretty good out here. So, this is the view coming in from the front door. So, this looks like the master bedroom here. I see a crib in here, so they're probably outgrowing this house. Nice walk-in closet. All the walls, everything in here is in good shape. Your windows are in good shape, your heaters, your floors. But this is all in good shape. I mean, that's the kind of the worst bit. Maybe a paint job on these. Probably haven't been painted. Since they bought the house, hardwood floors, they got a rug on them. And a little bit of 
scuffing here, but the you walls know, all look good at most. You, you know, if you don't like the colors, I always find uh, once you start removing pictures and stuff like that, you might want to paint the house anyways, but it's in good shape. Just your access point for the tub. That all looks good. Yeah. Vanity and stuff. Yeah, there's no damage or nothing in here. This is all in good shape. The floor is all in good shape. Yeah. Clean that. A couple little spots like this, maybe. Yeah, that baseboard there is a little dirty. A nice deep coat closet here at the front door. Again, nice hardwood floors. We got a propane stove here. Or is that a wood pellet? Oh no, that's a wood pellet stove. Sorry. Nice to have. The view of the living room. And the kitchen. These are a darling construction. Um, they built most of the homes in this area. They're no longer around. Uh, I don't want to say they went out of business. They, they moved to uh, the Northwest Territories, I believe. Cabinets are like what we call as a recess panel. That's the only thing some people find when they close. They, they make that little bit of noise, but good cabinets. Dishwasher. Oh, it looks right on there. Plastic plumbing. It's all in good shape, guys. Really, truly is. A little ding there on the stove. That could use a good cleaning, but again, these are probably original. The bar's a little loose. Yeah, it's all good, but I'm going to say these appliances are a little older. There's a room to put a little bit more of a bigger one there. Some people will move this cabinet up to get a real big one in there. Patio doors all in good shape. Could use a cleaning. But yeah, no, the floors, floors are great shape. This looks like, is that propane or electric? I didn't see a propane tank, so it's probably electric. This is just an AC system. I put one of those mini split heat pumps in here and get rid of that. Same thing. I mean, I'm just noticing on the windows. We could probably use a fresh coat of paint. But it's all in good shape. Stairs going down. We'll check that out. Bedroom number two up in here. So they got a laminate floor in here. Nice floor. Good size. Standard closet. But again, it's it's all in good shape. Again, the window ledges. They need a they need a fresh coat of paint, no question. The main bath. So nice to have two baths here. Red washer dryer. see this <laughs> time to replace that the bathroom yeah so the bathroom could use a paint job but it's in good shape tile floors they're all in good shape I don't think tile yeah tub is all good could use a cleaning Right, 
that's just not getting vented enough in here. You do have a vent. But overall, it's in good shape. Linen in closet here. This is the worst room of the house up here so far. Of course, access right here to the garage. So it's partially insulated. And it's a good size double with a walkout door over there. Floor is all good. Yeah, it's standard. Looks good to me. Yeah, it's a lot of wear and tear here. I'm not sure if it's showing up on there or not, but the hallway could use a little fresh coat of paint, maybe. I'd say the, you know, here you go, the bathroom. This gets a lot of wear and tear, so they use this entrance a lot. It's getting wear and tear on it right here. But overall, it's good shape. Carpet here looks decent, but I'm gonna guess it's probably original. So this is part of the main house they use. It's just got your hot water tank that's probably servicing both units your well so this stuff here you can tell it's very common for me to see people don't like to touch it until it explodes me looking at this here I'd have a plumber come in and replace all these pipes before it does explode there you got to be the age of the home which is close to 20 years old and it's just a matter of time before something like that happens But it's good and dry in here, no issues. Of course, this would be access to the apartment. I don't know if this key would work in here, but let's try. It's probably for the outside door. Hello, sir. You know, just come and have a quick look around. Yeah. Okay, awesome. Show him the key. Nope. I'm just actually okay. doing a recording a video here, just so you know. Okay. Just looking at the exteriors for hotter province people. It's looking pretty upstairs, anyways. That's. Katina sent you, did she? What's that? Katina sent you over here to look at the place, or who's Katina? Oh, I don't understand what's going on. I'm a realtor. Okay. Yeah. 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 So the you know the house is up for sale. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, so Katina is the homeowner upstairs? No, they live across the street. The homeowner does? Yeah. All right, see, I don't know that. So okay. I'm not, I don't represent Are them. you a broker for them? No, so that would be another realtor. Okay. Yeah, yeah, so I'm with Remax, uh, Paul Doron. He's their realtor, so. Okay. When the house goes on the market, all the realtors have access to it, right? So I call him, he sets appointment up with Katina and says it's okay to come here. Okay, yeah, yeah. as long as you bring someone through, that's fine. Yeah, so it's just me. Right, I'm just doing a video tour, just taking a video of the house, and then I send it to my clients out west or not here. Yeah, okay, that's fine. Yep, 
So I'm going to be three or She four said minutes. you're going to be here at 10 or so, right? Yeah, I was just finished upstairs. Okay. So, yeah, yeah I've been we'll here go. for 15 minutes so far. Sure. Alrighty. Yeah, so I'm only going to be a few minutes, my friend. How long have you guys lived here? Almost two years. Yeah. You guys you guys looking to stay here or are you looking to move? Uh, we may. Yeah. I had to get, I had to go through and deal with the rental and I didn't like to do it, but. Oh. I'd find them the right. Yeah, oh yeah, no, there's a lot of, because there's a lot of new confusion going on. This is all in good shape in here. Yep. All the appliances that are here belong to the unit. Yeah. Again, I'm just looking at the condition, we'll trying to give these people the, uh, the layout down here and that sort of stuff. But no, with the Tenants Act now, yeah, there's a lot of, uh, a lot of confusion going on with people. They, they gotta give you notice and stuff like that. Is there any issues down here, my friend? That uh... there's an electrical panel up down there. In there, yep. A little bit of flooring issues right here, maybe they're starting to separate. Yeah, that's your standard 200 amp entrance. Oh, it's all good. That's the backyard. Yeah, no, I was outside, did a tour around it already, and upstairs. Yeah, hi, kitty. You can check anyone over there. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> it's all in great shape. I mean, there's no issue. Standard stuff right here with the baseboards and stuff. The one piece tub, that's all good. Closet, yeah, linen closet. Washer and dryer in here. I could hear those running. I was just, I was just on the other side there. Yeah, yeah that's all good. That's good. Again, I'm just looking at the condition of it. Yep. Yeah, this is all good. It's in really good condition. Yeah, no, there's no issues at all. There. There you go. Nice place. Yeah. Yep. Has a few issues, but. Yeah. Things are heating wise, or do you pay heat and lights included, is it? Yeah, well, it's all in good shape. That's really all I needed, my friend. No problem.